All righty, y'all. This water is rete. Now, this can be very dangerous. <laughs> because these little claws right here can break the skin. So you got to be sure you got some long tongues. And some strength. Because these little mugs are strong as well. So, we're going to start. And as you can see, they like to fight. They like to come at you. I started to place them. Oh, yeah. In the pot. Just a moving and a grooving. Well, who you going for? Who you going for? Say hey to my YouTube family. Cause you're about to be in my stomach. Say hello. Hello. Yes. All right. We're gonna put. A little elbow bay on top of that layer and we're gonna keep on stacking keep on stacking here's where the muscle comes out see they will get your toes too <laughs> and as you can see they hold on tight they don't want to go in that heat they feel it they feel it, but they're going to go up in there today. Yes, yes, it's going to be some good eating. One on the floor, see? That quick, your toes can be removed. <laughs> oh, when my kids were small, they used to love this part. Because I'd put one or two of them on the floor and just let them run at them. Oh, it's so funny. They absolutely love this. And yes, my kids love to eat crabs as well. Like I said, we are from <laughs> Washington, D.C. So I grew up on crabs. Y'all done heard the story. Now, what I got... I went over to Annette's couch again because once again, if y'all listen to one of my other um, crab mukbangs, I told y'all my normal seafood guy ain't been there. I'm thinking it's something health related to be quite honest. So I'm going to be keeping him and his family impressed. See how they want to come out the pot? Alright, so I had to put it they just climb up out the pot. They fight you. Now I'm going to try to move this up so you can see it a little better. See him back there crawling? Look, and he'll fight you too. Look, he don't want to go in that pot. You got to go up in there, Joe. You got to go up in there, Joe. You can't win. You can't win, child. Y'all remember that song from The Wiz? <laughs> Yes. Drop some more Old Bay on top. Yeah, Joe. It's it. Horrible way to go. But it's the cycle of life, baby. Put that top on. Let them go. Normally for about 20 minutes. When you come back in 20 minutes, they should be bright red. As long as they're bright red, cut them off. Let them sit. Serve them up. See you when it's time to eat. Hello y'all and welcome back to my channel, Kendall's Corner. It is Friday. I made it through a long week y'all. That work week was ferocious. You hear me? Ferocious. I say, you know what? I'm going to get me some crabs tonight. This is how I'm going to start out my Labor Day weekend. Y'all see it? Y'all know how I do. I ain't got to explain. Y'all already know I got some cold ones on deck. It's the holiday. Join me for dinner. Let's chat. Well, first of all, I got a little paper cut from work. 
So I wrapped it up because I got a feeling it's going to kill me. That seasoning getting them cuts, it ain't no joke. Oh, my God. Let's pop that fresh one. Let's set it to the side and let's say our grace. Bless us, O Lord, for these are gifts which we are about to receive through the bounties of Christ our Lord. Amen. So, go get your drinks. Sit down with me. Let's have a little dinner. So, what do y'all got planned this weekend? I think we kind of talked about this before. As I said, I am straight chilling. I ain't doing nothing. My baby boy got to work all weekend. So, I am going to be working around this house. Getting my sleep on. And I got some editing to do. I got about three videos sitting in queue that I need to get edited and get out to my people. Woo. It's a little warm too. So you don't see me dropping over here. I got my little trash can. Make it a little easier for me for the cleanup. Mmm. I was waiting. I was craving these things. I was sitting there at work. And when it was getting closer to the time for me to get off, I was like, all right, you're going to get them crabs. So I had to be responsible. I had to come home, make sure all the bills was paid, see what I had left over. <laughs> and won't he do it? I had just enough to get what I needed. Mm. Who did some traveling this weekend or who doing some traveling? I know I was uh, on a live uh, with my other YouTube family. Eminem gang, what's up? What's up? And uh, my girl Cakes was headed down to South Carolina on business. She does photography. So her and her husband got on the road. From Philly, headed down to South Carolina. And traffic was messed up. You hear me? That traffic was out there deep. Which, I mean, it's expected. Holiday weekend. So, I gotta check on them. Because by now, though, they should be at their destination. So, I'm gonna check on them when I finish getting my grub on. Make sure they made it safe. I don't like no traffic. I have road rage. Y'all, I don't do good on the road. I don't like to drive at all. So, when I got to get in that traffic, oh, my mouth can get ugly. And then my little traveling partner, my baby boy, he be like, I got you, mom. I'm going to stay up with you. Hmm. It don't matter where we going, what time we leave, how early he went to bed, how many hours of sleep he got within 30 minutes. That Negro is uh, uh, snoozing. <laughs> so I be on my by myself. Mm -mm. I like to be a passenger or in the back seat one. I like to see the sights as I'm going, so I finally fall asleep. Mmm, you crabs is good. As you can see, I gave y'all a little tutorial on how I do my crabs. Pick steam any day over boil. Some people do actually boil them in the water, but I don't see where that's good because, like I said, it waters them down so much. So, they quick and easy. You just got to be careful. Come when these little mugs are live, they don't mind snapping that finger or whatever they get hold to. And they got a grip. They got a grip on them. Y'all saw by the video, I dropped a couple of them. I had to jump back so I didn't get them toes. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. Here go that dance. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, it's good to my soul. Good to my soul right here. Woo! 
There go that good chili cool. Mm, mm, mm. Ugh. So, today, I guess I got about the same amount I did last time. Um, I spent fifty-two seven, and uh, it's actually eight point seven one pounds. <clears throat> now they do honestly look just a little smaller than what I had before, but that's all right. They still serve the purpose. Mm. I told y'all multiple times I can eat crabs every day to the week. I actually I actually like blue crabs better than I like snow crab. Like I said, I was talking to my brother earlier. And he was bringing up again about this um, Popeye's chicken sandwich and Chick-fil-A and all that hype. Telling me, you know, asking me, I guess. Well, did he ask me? Mention it, something about me doing it, I think. I was like, as I told my people the other day, I ain't standing in line that long for no chicken sandwich. I'm sorry. And I've heard people say it's the bomb. But then I've heard a lot of people now that's been going back for round two. It ain't as good as it was the first time. Sometimes that's the height. I ain't mad at you. But I just ain't got the patience to sit out there that long. I feel like I could make a chicken sandwich at home that'll be just as bomb. I know how to throw a pickle on that mug. <laughs> Excuse me. My nose red. I just been scratching that mug. I don't know what it is. I ain't had no problem. It wasn't until I sat down and then something. That's all right, though. We're going to keep on rolling. That's the devil trying to step in and mess my video up and give me some old uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer No. <laughs> oh, and for any um, y'all don't know about my my little group of following, but if any of y'all are into gaming and stuff, if y'all are into like watching people play the games, like I said, I'm not into the gaming, so I don't really know. But my oldest son is on YouTube. Um, he just started, and he is. Flaming Ape, I think. <laughs> it's a very odd name. But um, I'm going to put his picture up. Uh, let's We'll put it up over here. So if y'all are into gaming, please go support my son. And subscribe to his channel. He got his whole little setup and stuff. I'm like, go ahead, stuff. Do the thing. He always loved game. Both my boys, they were big gamers all the time. You should hear my baby boy up this time. Huh? I feel like he can ready to come through the roof. He be like going off. Sometimes I had to pull him up off, but I'm like, uh-uh. That game should not be taking you to this level of getting mad. That means it's time to come up off. Them little shell get you. Got to learn how to maneuver that meat up out these little shells. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all been killing me about that taco challenge. <laughs> I'm still getting people calling me and texting me about it. Thing like it killed me. I keep saying I'm gonna try to do it again and see can I get the 12 down, but this time I'm gonna go a little less on the toppings. 
See if I can do it. Them shells, though. Them shells fill you up. Maybe I need to, like, wrap them in lettuce. Then it might not be as bad. The girl thought she was going to throw up. <laughs> mm. And for you, for those of you, and for those of you that follow me on Facebook, I put up um, another YouTube channel today, um, and their name, oh God, what is it? Doing Time with the Darlings. It was a video that. They had done, um, and actually, it's it's a family, um, and the husband um, had been locked up 12 years of his life, but he had actually been in and out of the system uh, ever since he was like 12 years old. I think the first thing he did was sold a car, and um, he's out now. He's like... 48, 49 years old. So, I mean, most of his life is gone. And he spent, if I remember correctly, he spent more life, more of his life, he spent more of his life in jail than he has on the outside. And I think his last big crime was um, bank robbery. And uh, so he's kind of telling his story and by him being in and being incarcerated at different prisons all over, you know, he was just saying, you know, where the system fails. And I've always said this, you know, I know we as parents, you know, we'll never want to see our kids in, in jail. No. Uh, I don't know what. You know, we don't, as parents, we don't want to see our kids in bad situations. And for some parents, they don't care what the child's done. I personally, I mean, I love my boys to die, but I always told them, you mess around, get yourself out here in some mess, you're going to do your time. Ain't all, you know, you, you do the crime, you got to pay the time. You made your bed, you got to lie in. And um, I think... You know, parents, I don't know. Y'all, my nose, something is going on. My nose is red. Something is going on, y'all. I don't know what is going on with my red nose. Mm. Maybe it's some hair on my glasses. I don't know, but something is killing me. Parents, sometimes you can baby your child a little bit too much. And, you know, when they get out here and they doing shit wrong... They got to learn, ain't nobody going to handle them with no kid gloves. And that's why our system fails. Now, there's some situations out here where, you know, people are getting sentences that are ridiculous based upon the crime. But I truly believe if you catch them when they start, when they start shit when they young, don't just smack that hand. Kids, that, that don't do nothing for them kids. I didn't tell y'all that before. Y'all got to make examples for them to stop this stuff. And um, this is what this man was saying. He was like, the systems that we have set up, ridiculous. A lot of that's got to be re-looked at, changed. You know, you got people, um, like he said, you go over to Mexico Go get locked up in one of them prisons over there. You'd be glad, lucky if you get a meal. And um, 
he was just saying how he feels the system was adjusted, you know, that you maybe can make a difference, you know, but these people going into jail, whether it be male or female, and like I said, sometimes the sentences don't match the crime. Our whole justice system really needs to be looked at and revamped. But like I said, I've been blessed that I haven't had any of those kind of issues with my boys, but I have had family members that were locked up. My uncle, God rest his soul, my uncle Bobby, and he was in and out of jail most of his life. And that's all he knew. You know, and it's sad, but some learn some as far as um, this gentleman, um, Mr. Darwin, he really made some valid points. And he had a rough road going, you know, getting this far, but it finally clicked. And the words that he said was that you get a lot of people out here and they're, they're doing illegal stuff or whatever. And it's, you know, it's the saying, oh, you know, well, I'm trying to... Um, Take care of my family and all that. Putting lifestyle before your family. Because you go out here and do stuff that'll get you locked up. Then you getting taken from your family. Then what are they to do? Mr. Darling and his wife have, I don't know, I think four kids. Or maybe more, I'm not sure. But his wife had to hold it down and she did. All while he did his time. She had to work like crazy, try to keep her kids out of trouble, all while he was locked up. Ain't but so much daddy and you can do when you in the pen. But his words today, when I watched his video, that's why I had to share it on my Facebook. It really touched me, you know, because that's what you're always hoping is that, you know, not everybody has a good start in life and they get into things you know and sometimes it takes some longer than others to learn the lesson and most of them reoffend well I just got a look look at all the well I guess I was supposed to do um, off, off subject for one moment. Um, I was actually supposed to be doing a seafood boil this weekend with a white tea for my girl Bites with Brie to see if I could keep it clean. But I, maybe this is good enough. I know it's got a little black writing, but I done already made a mess. <laughs> but it just made me feel good that he finally learned what mattered most. And that was his family. And... He knew when he got out this last hmm. time, spending any more time away from his I mean, family. He had started at the bottom, you know, and work his way up. But that's what you got to do. Life ain't easy. Ain't nobody giving you nothing out here on no silver platter nowadays. You got to work hard for it. And when you choose certain paths, you got to take what comes along with it. So, if y'all get a chance... And you follow me on Facebook. Be sure you take a glance at that video. See what he got to say. And as well, if you're on YouTube, check out their channel. Go support them. Go support them. I certainly will be. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I think I'm going to get me some soft shell crab next time. And make some of those. Mm. For y'all that don't know, soft shell crab are like these, but they are soft. 
and you literally can fry and eat the whole thing. They are good. Very good. Y'all, I am sorry about this red nose. I can't, I, I, that's all I see when I look in the camera. When I finish this up, I'm gonna have to go exfoliate my face. And go watch me some YouTube. Okay, I can't take these glasses no more. Y'all, excuse me. I know I'm looking a little rough tonight, but that's because <laughs> once I finish up this, I tell you, I'm going to exfoliate my face. I'm going to get in a nice bubble bath tonight. That's what I'm going to do. Bubble bath time. <clears throat> kind of wash off this week that I done had at work. Wash off my personal stuff I got going on. And... That cow gone take me away. Mm. See, that's some good meat up in there. I don't never share with y'all, but that's, I don't know if y'all can see it real good, but that's, that's good, good white meat up in there. I'm sorry, I don't share a lot when it comes to food. I'm greedy. Always have been. When I do edit this video, though, I'm going to try to cut it down. Y'all, I know I'll be having some long videos. <laughs> you would be like, dang, Kim, I ain't got no hour to be wasting with you, girl. <laughs> it's all right. Whatever time you do spend with me, it's appreciated. But that's the way I do <clears throat> Look, things take a while, though. You know, you're eating a lot of food. Because that's how I'm thinking. I have to um, do my research on mukbangs. Because they started... I want to think if I'm correct. They started maybe in Taiwan. But definitely in our Asian countries. And it seems like I always saw where it's like massive amounts of food. Um, but... I may be incorrect because it seems now that mukbangs are, you know, just pretty much sitting down, eating uh, on camera. Some mukbangers, especially mm, our Asian counterparts that are doing them, be eating up some stuff. I can't eat some of that stuff they be eating now. <laughs> They, it's like live octopus and stuff, and they still be moving. Uh uh. I ain't that crazy. Yeah, I can't do nothing, nothing live like that. Mm -mm. You gotta be cooked. So, are y'all liking my little tutorials that I've been doing? I don't have many up, but I have a few. I try to put up ones that are pretty kind of simple, kind of straightforward, make it easy. Oh, mm. y'all, I got a tea total mess. I'm going to be able to wear this shirt out the house. Because I'm going to tell you what, butter is one of the hardest things to get out. Somebody, or either I saw on Pinterest, I think they say put baking soda on it. So I might try that. It sure. may have to be just a sleep shirt <laughs> from now on. I wore this shirt to work. And it says, I know y'all can see, that says need more sleep that's what the bottom part says because <laughs> that's exactly how i felt today but i'm gonna try the um baking soda and see if that works what i'm down to y'all one two three five and some legs mm, but this beer almost done i think i'm gonna have to step away and go get me another one it's Friday. I don't have to get up in the morning. I 
Yep, that one's empty. Ah. There we go. Woo. Y'all know I'm starting to get full. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna say full. I think it's just because I'm tired. When them eyes start drooping a little bit. <laughs> that means the chick is almost done. I thank y'all that been rocking with me. Now that I've been doing it for a couple months, I can say my A1 day ones. <laughs> <laughs> feel like I'm really doing something. Whew. Now y'all see, I'm just starting to pick around at them now. <clears throat> but I do. And I appreciate y'all so much. Because when it comes down to it, it wouldn't happen if it wasn't for y'all. I'm glad I had cleaned the rest of my kitchen prior to this. The only thing I will be doing is cleaning up my little setup. Mm. Whew. Oh, that's why I was going to ask y'all. What do y'all feel about Like card reading. Um, I don't know if it's tarot. I guess it's tarot card reading. I don't know. Um, but what do y'all feel about that? Like, because I'm a believer. Oh, excuse me. I think anything's possible. And I do personally feel that different people have gifts. Um, but I know as well, some people be trying to associate like that car reading and all like with witches and they try to make it like a bad thing. But let me tell you, so I was on YouTube the other night and I got a little situation that I'm dealing with right now. And, um, I lit. I went to one of these YouTube, um, pages. Um, she had like three decks of cards out there and like a, um, it was either a crystal or I don't know, a stone or something like that on top of each card. And you were to pick out which you were drawn to, I guess. So because I'm an Aquarian. I was drawn to the deck of cards that had the amethyst stone on top. Where my Aquarius at? Aquarius in the house. <laughs> um. So I fast forwarded in the video to um the end where she actually read the cards that was under the amethyst so she started reading the cards or whatever and like i said sometimes you never know like what's real and what's not because people always have the gift of gab but i'm gonna tell you what if this lady wasn't on point for me <laughs> i was like oh i said she really talking to me And then it was all good stuff. Um, it was things that I know about me that I could continue to work on. But some of the things she said too were are were also very enlightening to me. Um, I've been feeling a bit uneasy here lately. You know, in my personal life. 
And I didn't want to feel uneasy anymore. But the things that she was saying really helped me. So what y'all think about that tarot reading, tarot card reading? Y'all believe in it? Or y'all feel like it's a bad thing? But it was pretty cool. Pretty diagonal cool, y'all. I feel like everybody's always going through something. Like at different points in your life, different times, it's always something that transpires at this point i feel like it's inevitable a storm is always gonna come like you can't get around it i don't care if you claim to be the absolute best person in the world when you do no wrong storms are gonna come in different shapes forms and sizes <sighs> um, I think our test is getting through the storm. Woo! It seems like every group of crabs I get, you always get one that is like, he must be like the skinny crab. Like, there's never any meat in it. Like, it's completely empty. <laughs> I don't know. I always come across one every time I eat them. Like, was he the sick one? Like, what's wrong with him? Why he ain't got no meat? <laughs> but I know my mother always taught us that when you go through the storms, you got to look for God. Look, because God is in the storm. And you have to know when to trust when and you have to know that in your storm you have to trust in your higher being whatever you call him god lord jesus the creator whatever your title is for him but you have to know he's in the storm because at our darkest times is when we look away been there, done that. I, at this point in my life, I try to embrace him. I mean, I praise him every day anyway. Y'all know that I told y'all that before. But especially when I'm going through something. And uh, he shows up right on time. And it's hard to see it sometimes. Because... One thing is hard to do, and it stands true in people that suffer from depression and stuff like that, is controlling your thoughts. And your thoughts can be a beast. Your thoughts will have you thinking all kind of crazy stuff. And some people can't control those thoughts. Been there. Um, I've now gotten in a better place in my life because I know to call on to the Lord and I'm a little bit better at how I handle things through my storm. I used to shut down and, you know, just shut completely down and I still can do that. To a certain degree, but in all honesty, YouTube now helps me with that. Because even though physically you all are not right here with me, but I'm um, still interacting in some way where I used to would just shut down. I don't want to talk. I don't want to. I don't want to see nobody. I don't want anybody to see me. And um, I'm just getting better at that. And like I said, I've seen so many people now going through some sort of crisis in their life. Or some kind of storm. And I'm just here to tell you. 
There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes the path we take ain't the path that we want to. And things don't always go the way we want it to go. But I feel like if you have good in your heart, God is going to put you on the right path. But you got to stay strong through the storm. You got to stay dutiful through the storm. And you got to continue to give him praises in the storm. I know things sometimes happen. and whew, They say we shouldn't question, but I done been there. I done questioned a whole lot of stuff. I have my own relationship with my creator. Might not be the same kind of relationship you have. But I've always said that everybody's walk is different. So no one should mm, no one should be condemning be condemning anyone for their specific walk. Because in the end, honey, mm, in the end, when he come back. Everybody gonna be worried about themselves. <laughs> so don't worry about my walk. Worry about yours. Don't worry about my talk. Worry about yours. Ain't no sin greater than nothing. And one thing I know. With all the storms I've been through. My God is a real God. And my God is a powerful God. And I am one of his children. And so I am. I'm pretty sure. There will be more storms that come in my life. That I won't understand. And I'll still put in the end. I got to keep my faith. I got to keep prayed up. I got to keep my family. My true friends prayed up. And that's all you can do. But I know the Lord ain't never failed me. Even in the days... That I was so down, I couldn't even pray. I was hurting so bad inside. I didn't even know what to pray for. <laughs> Those are lonely times, too. But, oh, how grateful I am. Because I know he don't never forget about me. I ain't trying to preach. Because y'all know I ain't really that type of person. I'm going to give you my little spill and keep it moving. But I just come across a lot of people right now that's going through stuff. And they losing their way. And they don't see that light on the other side. And I'm just trying to give them my experiences. Let them know I've been there. I've been so hurt. So sad. I always had my children there. And if I didn't care about seeing nobody else, I couldn't leave my children. So all that's to say, y'all, if you're in your storm, if it's your season for your storm, 
Keep your faith. Keep yourself prayed up. And he going to show up and show out right on time. He always does. I know it don't seem like it. But he does. Normally it just takes a little time. And sometimes it's good to take some time to yourself. And be still. He'll show up when he needs to. Well y'all. I done finished this. Well as y'all can see. This is all I'm down to. I am done and I am tired. As y'all know. Subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I have been growing like crazy here lately. And I am so grateful. So. Be sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment. Share. Pass me around. But I'm done, y'all. So as I end every video, be blessed. I sure am.